In this lab, we will be installing the Centrify Access Manager in Client 1. We'll also initialize Access Manager so we can define which places in Active Directory are the licenses container and the zones container. Finally, we will verify that both Active Directory users and computers and Group Policy Management Editor have the right extensions in place. This lab is going to be performed from Client 1 as Bryant, the Windows Administrator. First, we're going to connect to the file share in App 1. This is where we have the Centrify Suite. We're going to, we're going to drag, and, drag and drop this folder inside the desktop here. This is so we can perform a local copy rather than a network copy. We're going to open the folder, go to the Direct Manage 64 folder, and we're going to run setup. During this wizard, I'll explain to you what other components are about. When I agree to the license terms, set up my company name. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about the components. Direct Manage Access is the main component we're going to be installing today. We're not going to be installing any utilities. Active Directory Users and Computers page extension gives you an additional tab in ADOC when you look at an object so you can look at Centrify or Unix information. For example, for an end user, you can take a look at their login UID GID and edit that information. Access Manager is the main console, but it does have extensions like a NIST Maps extension that allows you to publish NIST Maps in Active Directory. It includes documentation, this includes the admin guides, the planning guides, as well as the configuration guides. Finally, the Group Policy Management Extension Editor allows you to edit group policies that are defined for Unix, Mac OS, and even to control the direct control daemon. We're going to click Next. Over here, we're going to disable Publisher Evidence, evidence Verification because our lab doesn't have consistent connectivity to the internet. We'll do next. Now that the installation has been completed, you'll notice that there's a few icons on your desktop. Direct Access Manager. We're going to go ahead and launch it. And this is the process of initializing Access Manager. We will tell it in which places it's supposed to have the license and zone con zones container. We're going to press OK here, changing domain controllers, and do next. This credential should be fine. Brian has uh, um, domain admin rights. And here, this is where we're going to specify the licenses container. Notice that by default, it's using program data. Typically, you want to make sure that you don't put anything outside of Microsoft's um, own setups in there. So we have decided that we're going to use the Unix OU licenses container. Click Next. In here, basically, setup is saying we're going to allow everybody in the domain to be able to read that container. This is okay because the objects in there are going to be read-only. In this particular case, we would put in uh, our own evaluation license. Um, um, if you're a Centrify customer, you probably have a license. And if, if you had requested a trial, by this time, you probably have a license that have been, has been uh, uh, installed for you. We're going to do the same thing for the zones container. Notice that by default, it's going to go into program data. But we already have defined that it's going to be going under Unix. Let me do next. And here, we don't need to do this step. This is to grant the computers in the computer's object, or OU in AD, to be able to update their own information. Because we have already decided that we're going to be putting this under the Unix servers OU we don't need to perform this step. This step is another step that we don't need to do, but it's a 
good thing to do in a, in a production environment. Because Active Directory using computers here will be able to see certain information that others can't see. Registering the handler basically tells any other user um, if they're sure they can do, they want to do a deletion in case they can't see those attributes. And we're going to activate the Centrify property pages for ADOC. This should finish the initialization. Um, this is Access Manager. We're going to close it for now. But what we're going to verify is that both Group Policy Management and Active Directory Users and Computers have their property pages ex extended. So we're going to open ADOC. And we're just going to um, just click on any user. Let's just go on Bryant. We're going to verify that the Centrify profile is there. This seems to be OK. Close ADOC. 